Welcome back. It is Monday. We just got loaded. We did our stuff last week. Spent the weekend home. Went up to the shop this morning with uh, intentions of possibly having to pull the tranny. Um, turns out just needed a clutch adjustment. That, um, that helped a lot. Um, it was just wore down enough that it was starting to chatter. Whatever. If any much money I ain't gonna spend right now, I ain't going to. So let me show you what we got. We got a monster. It's pretty windy, so bear with me. Truck is just, I had those things like mirrors. Shining like mirrors. This is why we need half fenders. Fucking trashed them with the rain and the mud. We're in Iowa. We got a, we normally pick up um, like an eight, seven or eight. We got a nine R. This thing is a fucking beast. No duels with it, um, which is good because I think with duels, I thought maybe I'd have been overweight, but we are uh, 29,400 some change right there with half tanks and 32.8. So we're good. We're legal. Possibly could take a couple tires, but I don't know how much they weigh. Um, and it says, uh, says we're not taking tires so we're 10 10 foot wide and uh, 13 10 tall man that is a gorgeous machine I bet that looks badass with the duels on it this is going to uh, Louisiana so we got a we got a hike to go we got our service done let's rock and roll All right, we are in uh, Mississippi. We left um, uh, Missouri. I couldn't think of the name of it for some reason, but uh, we made it to Missouri yesterday and parked and uh, left there this morning. Didn't get up early, nothing. Got up about 8, 9 o'clock and uh, driving all day. Got down through Memphis and now we're down to Mississippi. Shut her down. We're only about like just under seven hours from our delivery uh, if we get up early we could probably make it tomorrow so maybe that's what we'll do probably that's what we'll do so uh, I gotta start looking for loads I guess just cruising along you know see you in the morning well that's the first one all trip Louisiana. They uh, just just rolled across the scale. Where's this guy going? They just rolled across the scale and then they gave me a come on inside. So we went in there. I think that guy's going for the other oversize. There's another oversize here. He may, maybe not. Maybe it was a box truck next to me. Someone needed to get a tire fix, look like. But uh, yeah, Louisiana brought me in. Just wanted to make sure I had a permit and all that. Show them that, show them my registrations. All right, good to go. Have a nice day. I said, <clears throat> Thank you. And I said, how the hell do you expect me to get out of here now? Is this tighter than some bitch? And he said, whichever way you want to go. So well, I'm gonna come back across your scale. That's what we're doing. It sucks because you spend more time in line. But whatever. I was good. All is good. Come on, guys.
modern some bitch down here. It's 93 right now. I just gotta make sure I don't rub these curbs. like that dozer is the guy getting the tire. Something going on. So he kind of fucked the whole show up there. Otherwise, I might have been able to flip it, but that had have been pretty tight. It's kind of a tight area for a scale, but let's get rolling. We got two and a half hours. Uh, they're accepting until four. And uh, I called them, I said, hey, I'll be there about 2.30. They said, perfect. So we're going to roll down in there, drop this off. I haven't found a load yet. Um, I'm being a little bit picky, to be honest with you. Uh, there's some shit on there. There's a telehandler that's going up to Michigan. Um, what they're trying to pay is like 1,200 some miles. They're trying to pay... to pay like it's like two dollars and eleven cents a mile like no no we're not doing that we're not we're not racing to the bottom uh, I can fucking sit there it's forty thousand pounds so you know it's gonna take some fuel to move that thing down the road what about painting the butt this damn corner this is a blind corner Look out of your round mirror just to see where you're at, the traffic wise. And then we gotta go straight across. So we just booked the reload too. Uh, so once we unload this, we got about a uh, 80 mile run. We get up into Pineville. Pineville, Louisiana. Get up there for tomorrow morning. Uh, sounds like we're going to meet. We're going to be meeting a uh, tow truck tomorrow morning. It's going to uh, help us load up a uh, non operational uh, propane truck. Broker said it's not hazmat, so we'll see what that is. Maybe it's a, I don't know. I'm not even gonna guess. I'm never right anyways. But that's going right up by Kansas City. So, um, that, they need it load, unloaded. So tomorrow's Thursday. They need that unloaded by 2.30 on Friday. shouldn't be a problem, depending on how much dicking around we got loading it up. So maybe we'll go home this weekend. We'll see. What the hell are you doing? Coming across? All right. I believe this is a newer facility. checked in here and uh, get this offloaded and then uh, we'll head up to Pineville. I gotta figure out what to stay at like a truck stop or something. Hopefully there's one. It's not uh, 
doesn't seem like it's a uh, a huge town. So we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm gonna check in here and. Uh, you guys up in Pineville. All right, we're here. We're loading up. Right up in there, you can see the records, lights. Um, as soon as traffic gets out, plan is we're going to nose up in, go up in there, detach up in there so we get that downhill force. He's going to unload onto our trailer. We'll get her all hooked up and uh, chained down, and then we're just going to back back out. That's the plan. It is raining like hell over an inch of rain today, so we're going to try to make this happen. Soaked. But we got it loaded. Come out. You can see her in the mirror. Apparently the truck was rolled over uh, two years ago. Uh, That's what the record guy was telling me. He said they towed it out two years ago. It's been sitting here, so... Uh, Took us a little bit, took us about 40 minutes to get it back straight. And uh, before I realized um, the reason why it's not tracking straight when we're backing off his rollback is because the frame goes like this. The frame's almost enveloped. Uh, <coughs> so <coughs> the back axles kept wanting to go to the driver's side when you're backing up, even though, like, no matter what you did, it's because the frames kicked that way. So we had a little bit of jockeying around to get that right. Um, and then chained it down. Of course, it poured, poured the entire time. I am absolutely soaked. Um, so I got to dry off. But as you can see, we're out here. We're in the middle of the road right now. We got backed out. He helped me back out. Um, he was blocking traffic for me and stuff. So we got out here. We're in the middle of the road. I got to dry off, change clothes, and we got a long ways to roll. So should be easy. I don't know. Um, I've been tearing parts off of this thing left and right, ripping mirrors off because everything's just dangling from the rollover. So apparently we're record drivers now. <laughs> Come up. All right, we've been driving for over three hours, almost four hours now. Um, we pushed out of the rain. Um, it's time to take a break and it's a good time for me to show you what we actually have. So uh, let's go take a look at this thing. Let me throw on my uh, soaking wet shoes quick. We are just north of uh, Texarkana. Yeah, she tight. Tighten up. Put a couple turns on it. She all smashed up. See the frames are bent, right? There. Look at all the shit falling out of it. Yep. See, that's why you do that. She settles. All the stuff falling onto the frame. That's good. We're just gonna have to uh, clean that off before we leave. What set it off is if you looked down the sight line of where the axle is versus the front of the truck. That's what I was like, why is this thing walking so goofy? It's nice and tight. Just shit everywhere. She all smashed up. See into the tank a little bit there. You can see the frames all goofy. But whatever. It is what it is. Tow truck life. Ouch. That one could be a couple. Good enough. All right. I'm going to throw my uh, soaking wet gloves on. Go grab that stuff, pull it off to the side here. And uh, I'm gonna go get some Burger King. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did already, I booked a reload too. So we got a load. Um, 
we got a reload coming out of um it's about a 100 mile run from kansas city up in um I think it's albany missouri and that's going to north carolina so that'll be our last load for the week we'll finish it out knock out a 34 down that way and uh sounds like it's a couple air ac units which we haul them all the time so nothing new to me but uh i'm gonna go clean that stuff off and uh get some lunch all right we're here we got it off that's it right in front of us um uh, looks like they uh make a bunch of uh tanks here and put them on the chassis so i just got done with my paperwork and all that stuff we already got the trailer back together um i had to sweep the trailer off that thing made a goddamn mess on the trailer um you couldn't let it go down the road that way it was going to be a disaster <clears throat> so now that we got all that done got the bill lading everything sent in it's time to go over to um and um uh, wanted to say McRow. missouri i'm gonna go over to missouri and uh get those ac units let's get going all right well we're here for our pickup check in a little house over there units like that and uh we give you a neat little tracker box you got to carry with you some instructions so we're just gonna hang out here and wait to get loaded and then uh get some video of what that is but that's gonna be just like how we do normally chains on the bottom straps over the top so pretty gravy just ordered my fenders uh hodge built half fenders 80 inch they're gonna drop way down to here so we'll get this cleaned up nice stop all this shit from slinging up on the back of the rig here all right there she is 13 forward it's kind of a kabackle here um oh i had to chain it standard chain that way i had to add a piece there though so i could get some down pressure Ain't hey, like I can get a binder in there. It's as wide as your hand. All right. I'm tired of the heat. I want to get out of here. Saturday morning. I'm just waking up. It is uh, night in the morning. Stopped a little early yesterday. Uh, I'm still in Missouri. Um, you know, part of my benefits package here. Um, I can stop when the, when the fuck I want. So, um, went to bed last night. Um, I sleep. I try not to wake up with an alarm clock. That is, uh, that is my thing. I just, I don't like waking up with an alarm clock. If I can schedule my week to where I wake up just on my own and I'm free to go, come and go as I please, that's a good week. Well, let's talk about something here quick. I'm eating breakfast. You ever get them uh, pre-made meals here? I try to stay away from that box with all the sandwiches. They got like an $8 fucking croissant ham sandwich in there. Like, come on. It's a 10 cent sandwich to make. Let's be real. Let me show you what's good. This is... The sausage, egg, cheese, uh, breakfast, uh, breakfast bowl. Got onions, peppers, potatoes, sausage, cheese, eggs, everything. It's actually really damn good. I've had one before that was the um, chorizo or something like that. I didn't even know what a fucking chorizo is, so I just took it. It was like cheesy potatoes and shit like that. That was, wasn't bad either. This is actually pretty good. This is like home. This is like what I would make at home. So um, don't be afraid to try those. Um, I would stay away from the sandwiches in that little box um, over by the roller dogs and stuff. Those are usually shit. Um, you know, like you get the bread soggy and stuff like that. These little bowls, if you can find one that looks good to you, I've liked each one I've tried so far. So, quick morning tip. We're going to run today, uh, see how far we get, and then tonight we'll start our 34. All right, we are here in Kentucky. 
parked up illegal as fuck. But, Fuel Islands are right there. Saw Bobtail parking. Um, I don't really have a choice. So we rolled in here with um, fuel light on. Like we had to stop, it was on, it was below E, I'll show you it, it was super low. And uh, I rolled in here, we pumped in 217 gallons. Um, I think I have 250 total. But uh, fueled up quick and uh, did all that stuff. And then the lot is full, like I just showed you, the lot is slam full for a Saturday night. Um, kind of surprising, but I might disconnect and come back here, park next to the trailer. Uh, just kind of lock the trailer up, park next to it. And then that way tomorrow, maybe I can throw some grease on the fifth wheel and stuff like that. But uh, this is where we're gonna do our 34. We're about 300 miles from delivery. Um, so, is what it is. We didn't push too hard today. I'm um, just kind of sat back and cruised at, uh, you know, I'm, and I'm only cruising at like, sometimes I'm doing 62, sometimes I'm doing 65. That's it. Like, we're not hauling ass. Uh, so, it's nice out. It's like 70, 72, which is gorgeous. You can hear the birds, they won't shut the fuck up. So, we're just going to hang here with the windows down, watch some shows, eat some food, and uh, just hang out. So, still looking for next week. Um, there ain't much on there yet, but that'll probably be a Tuesday load. So, um, load's riding good. Um, I did have to, down here, um, this slid a little bit, so the wood slid off the side. I did have to hook the load with a chain and, and, and pull it over. Um, but um, that's no big deal. That's just minor details, just so nobody really like gives me shit for it. So this video is getting pretty long, so we're gonna cut it off here, um, and we'll start next week off on a new video uh, since we don't know what we're doing. Obviously, this is just gonna be rolling in, picking it off, and away we go. So real simple. So easy money. See you next week.